Alrighty, so today, first and foremost, um, hey Sal, hey uh, Genevieve, hi, hey Fawn, hey Heather, um, and everybody else watching on YouTube. Thank you for your patience, everybody on um, the call log. And you know what? You guys are so amazing. I did not lose not one of you, even though I didn't sign on on time. Okay, couple really quick things before I get to callers and answering questions. The first thing, dun, dun, dun. I actually remembered to bring one of my books to the show today. Here it is. What if a transformational guide? A transformational guide. This book, I, I love this book. Like I'll still, I'll go through it and I'll ask these questions of myself because you guys, I channel my books. So I have seven books that I have channeled and authored and published and um, all of them are channeled. There's one, one poem in one book I can't even get through. It's my latest book called... Um, channeled messages from uh, like whispers from above or something like that. Yeah, I know. I should know the titles of my book. Um, it's the last book I published. Um, and there's a poem in there that I cannot get through. Like by the third line, I start crying and I can't read the rest of it. But there's also a poem in there from loved ones above and how they communicate with you. Now you really want to know the name of it, right? It's um, my second channeled messages book. Um, okay, so this book is a guide. Obviously, it says so right there. So it must be. It just must be, right? Because it's in writing. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Moses, and Mary. <laughs> okay, so this book um, was channeled through me to help you see the world and your life and what happens in your life in a different way. So if you open the book, it looks like a big book. It's not. I don't like big books. I don't. I know. I, I know that makes me sound exactly as I am a person who doesn't like big books. So if you open the book, there's like these questions. See, <laughs> here's a question. And then there's all these empty pages. It's a book of empty pages. No. Okay, so the first question that I'm going today is, um, what if who you are or how you are is how you return? That's a fair question. So if you believe in reincarnation, what if who you are now or how you are now is how you return in your next life? And, and, and I've heard this so many times. Where you leave off is where you begin. So the more you progress in this life, the the better you come into your next life, whether it's on this plane or another plane. And as a matter of fact, and let me say that again, as a matter of fact, if we progress enough in this life, we can end up on a higher plane in our next life. Let that sink in. So maybe all the work we're doing to just be a person of love is what gets us to that next plane, the higher plane. And for those of you that are doing dirty all in the streets, guess where you're going? There's not a place called hell, but there are lower planes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, I'm joking because we all do. We all do dirty. We all like, I don't care how good you are. And I believe most people intrinsically are very, very good people. Um, we just get a little lost in stuff, stuffing, the turkey stuffing, <laughs> we get lost in stuff. Um, so we, we end up, um, you know, acting and behaving out of our lostness. Yep. That's my word of the day. My word I made up of the day, lostness. We're all living in a muck of lostness, trying to get out of it, um, I do not believe, however, that this is a planet that punishes. I do not believe that this is a planet of, if you believe that, that's exactly what you're going to get. I, one million trillion billion, the amount of money Biden is given to other countries, by the way, trillion to the Middle East. Not just one trillion either. He's committed by 2030 to give many trillion. Ooh, 110 billion so far to Ukraine. So I believe 
a billion, trillion. You like the way I just slide it in, kind of like my date last night. Oh my God, I, I didn't even have a date last night. I was at home alone. Oh my God. And there was no, no, it was a total joke. Oh, spirit is funny as fudge, aren't they? Oh, if you guys aren't laughing, that wasn't worth that. Thank you, Vaughn. <laughs> and now that song is in my head, that one that goes gas pedal, gas pedal, but they're going slide it in the chat. Jesus. Oh my God, my show is derailed within five minutes of starting. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, really seriously, I need to say this, and I need you to get this really clearly. When I make jokes like that, they're they're not true. Like ninety percent of the time, no, that one was not true. Um, okay, um, I don't believe there there is a place called hell. I do believe there are planes, and we this earth is a plane, and I believe this is a plane of creation. We came here to create, and how we create is out of love. The more we do out of love and light, the higher we evolve. And when we learn to create, to totally create, spontaneously create, then we've hit it. At that point, we know that we are, we, we are, we, we love ourselves and we are worthy and we deserve and we are working with creation to create. And that's what this plane is. This is the plane of creating. And we can create an unhappy existence. We can create a happy existence. And the idea is to get to the point where we know like we know like we know it is not out of our control. It's all in our control. Okay, so again, dun, 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 what if? Okay, I did actually in the chat section, I put a link to my author page on Amazon. You can get my books on Amazon. And if you so do so choose, and if you get my book, um, Channeled Messages, the second one, not the first one, the second one, and you can figure out the poem that makes me cry. I will admit it, but I won't tell you what poem it is. But you, if you ask me, I'll tell you. And the reason, uh, um, oh, I do know the name of it. Um, that poem gets me every single time. Like I, like I had so much difficulty channeling that poem, and I had even more difficulty like editing it. I didn't want to put it in there and I had to, I think it's called ever, E-V-E-R, ever. Yeah, it's called ever. Um, and it is, so you don't have to guess, there it is. And it is the, um, like, I cannot get through that poem. And hopefully someday I will. Hopefully someday I'll be able to like get through it without breaking down. Um, <clears throat> okay. All right. Eh? All right. All right. All right, all right. Okie dokie. Um, there were some things here I wanted to say that I have to say, so I'm going to say them. Uh, this Wednesday, I'm going live on TikTok for the first time, and I'm doing it on my um, live.beauty.reviews page. And I'm having like this med eye spa procedure done. It should be entertaining, if nothing else. But um, here's the deal. I cannot do Botox. I'm a, I'm allergic to Botox, and I, I I don't care if other people do it. Do what do there is no judgment except for within ourselves. Um, so what whatever makes you happy, that's within your means. Do it if that's what makes you happy. And so I found an esthetician that can do some work and not um, and it's not like artificial stuff. So I'm going in Wednesday and I'm I'm going to let y'all see the procedure. I'm going to let y'all see me without makeup. Oh my God, <laughs> that's the scary part. And then we're going to um, do this little procedure um, that should not take horribly long. And we're doing it live. So anybody who wants to ask questions and comment on it, you can comment on it. She's going to have an assistant there that will be able to answer all of your questions. 
and hopefully you won't hear me cry. <laughs> hopefully nobody will hear me cry. I wouldn't cry much. <laughs> okay, anyway, so please do join me for that. Um, I'm going to go to the very first caller now, who is 301. Uh, please tell me what's your name, where are you calling from, and if you have me on speakerphone, take me off the speakerphone. 301. Okay, no, you're not on speakerphone. Excellent. Hi, Tony, this is Diamond. Hey, Diamond. I'm calling from Washington, D.C. Can you hear me? I can, love. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can hear you now. Beautiful. How can I help you, love? Okay. I am hoping that you can give me a bit of direction. I'm, um, I'm dating someone currently for about six months now, and the chemistry is strongly there. I'm sure you've had this question before, but his actions are not lining up with what he tells me. Oh. So I'm hoping to if you can tell me what are his true intentions regarding me uh do, 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 how honest do you want me to be and how funny oh. can i be like is this a really sensitive subject uh -huh. do, do you need me to kitty oh, cat no. walk this or can i meow this bitch for you i mean i need to know how sensitive do you need oh, me to be you, on this you can give it to me straight i don't like sure you're coding at all his name oh. is carrie by the way Okay, uh, so you can pick up on his energy. Thank you. I got his energy full force from the beginning. He is a uh, oh. Okay, I'm just gonna say it, and I, if this offends anybody, yeah, this is an 18 and over adult show. So hey, here we go. Even though it is on TV, so I do have to watch my mouth a little bit. Um. <clears throat> He doesn't, he, he is, he, he, he is on, on, uh, every time I go to say the words, they won't even come out my mouth, but I'm just going to do it. Cause I don't, I don't want to, um, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be gentle and they're trying to be blatant. So we're just going to be blatant. Um, he is not, he's, 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 he's along for the ride. He's along for the ride. He is not looking for, um, something he's he's he real he likes you but let me let me explain something folks just because somebody likes you or they could even love you or love what you do for them or how you do certain things because you know us girls we got skills i'm just saying we do not not all just like not all drumsticks are the same not all these are the same and some of us girls we we know what we're doing and we enjoy it i you know it was really shocking to me to find out that some women don't enjoy sexy time like what mm. who have you been with like how do you not enjoy that how do you not like yeah, that like i don't i don't get it but here's the thing he is not in it to win it. He is, he, he doesn't want you to be gone, but he doesn't, he's not looking at a long-term committed situation. And it's not only you, it, he wouldn't be looking for one with anyone. I'm going to tell you that um, words, words are, are very easy for some people, but actions will tell you the truth. And I'm going to also tell you that a man who is very committed to you will behave in a way that shows you that he is committed to you. He is as interested in what's going on in your life and in your mind as he is as what's going on in your panties, pantaloons. He is as interested in talking about uh, your future and what your goals are as he is sexy talk. And he's actually more interested in what's going on in your life and your future and what your goals are than he is sexy talk because he knows that's just going to be a given. And he is trying to make plans with you. 
for the future, not like, hey, Saturday night. Um, it's more like a, you know, <clears throat> you know, I have this thing coming up. Would you be interested? And it's all done in a very healthy and genuine way. OK, um, it's done in a in an extremely healthy and genuine way. Now, that doesn't mean the sexy time is not good or on point, because believe me, if 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 you're already into the guy and you're bringing full on sexy time and they're only mm, they're not thinking about a future, their sexy time isn't even all in. Right. And and when two people well, we, we haven't had sex. Oh, good. We haven't had any sex. Good. Good. Which is why I'm curious why he's still around after six months. Good. I'm going to tell you for whatever. I'm happy you haven't had sexy time. I'm happy you, you haven't had sex. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it sexy time. What I'm going to tell you is uh -huh. if, okay, here's the thing. And again, and sometimes when I answer a question, nine times out of 10, when I'm answering a question, it's for you, but it's for a, a little broader for everybody listening also. I'm going to tell you that uh -huh. if somebody's truly interested in you, if they want a future with you, you know it. They're talking to you about a future. Their topic of conversation is about where the two of you are going in the future. Now, if his actions are not lining up with that, that's all you need to, to know. Like either this guy cannot pull through on his actions, in which case you don't want him anyway, because that's not only in relationship, that's every area of his life. Or he is is not thinking in that direction with you. The everything I'm getting is he's not ready for what it and it doesn't matter why somebody isn't ready for a relationship. Okay. It's just they're not ready. It's that's just what it is. Um for whatever reason, he's not ready with for this with you. Um, and I think the worst thing somebody can do is waste somebody else's time stringing them along until they are ready or letting them believe something's going to go on until, or if they are ready. I believe this person has a lot of other things going on in his life or their life. It doesn't mean other people. It could be personal stuff, but it could be other people too. This person just isn't ready for what you want. He isn't ready for what you want with you. It doesn't matter if he would be with somebody else. He is not, as of this moment, he's not going to change his actions. His actions are going to be those okay. that they are. And I hear the word front, F-R-O-N-T. There's a front going on with this person. He is not he, he, so that when I hear the word front, um, to me, whatever that means to you, either he's faking to be something or he's hiding something. And if you're hiding something, you're faking something else. So what I'm going to say to you is if you want to friend zone him, friend zone him without any expectation of the future. And, um, if he asks, have, I have a very, very honest honest conversation about what you want um, as far as what a relationship should look like to you. Um, but know that just because you tell somebody that and they can change momentarily, chances are he's showing you his true patterns. And that's where what you need to look at who he is now, not who he can be because you said something to him. Does that make sense okay. to you? So when yeah, it oh, does make sense. Um, yeah, go ahead, love. I just wanted to understand what the front or the mask is. I mean, we both spent a lot of time. He always treats me well. He asks me out, and I kind of get the sense that this is just stalling, stalling, stalling. So I. I just wish I could peek behind. What is the mask? That word has come up to me before. What is the front? Does it matter? 
let me ask you this. Well, I guess I want to know. Yeah, because... yeah, I know. I know. Listen, I've been in situations where I'm like, why the heck is this this? In the end, that keeps us hooked. And if we know what the thing is, we think I can work through it or I can fix it. And the bottom of the bottom line, the truth of the matter is, no, he's showing you who he is. It doesn't matter if he's and he's I'm not being psychic right now. I'm just saying things right now. Okay? Uh -huh. It doesn't matter if it's because he has a possessive mother. It doesn't matter if he's on the down low. It doesn't matter if he's got another woman he's trying to get on mesh from. It doesn't matter if he doesn't have enough money. It doesn't matter if he's afraid of commitment. It doesn't ma None of those things matter. Whatever the mask is, it doesn't matter. The fact that he showed up with one is the fact that he will always be able to put one on at any moment and keep wearing it or take it off uh -huh. for a couple minutes and put it back on. It doesn't matter how a person shows up in your life is how they are. If he has things to work through, you let that boy go. When he becomes a man, he can come back and he can show you that when he becomes. And when I say boy and man, I mean, right now, he's not ready for a full on man commitment. He's kind of dating like a prepubescent uh. teenager or a pubescent teenager, whatever. When I don't know when boys go through puberty anymore. Um, he's sleeping around, basically, is what you're saying. He's, I'm not, saying. he's sleeping around. It's I'm not I'm not gonna go so far as to say that. Um, I am gonna say he uh -huh. has something else going on, and I do feel like whatever it is, he's not ready to let it go. So if he's if he Here's the thing with us women, and it's so hard for us to get this. It's so hard because we have hope and we're fixers and nurturers. We kind of feel like if we know what the problem is, we can fix the problem. Just tell me what's going on so I can fix it. The fact that we feel that way allows men, allows partners and it goes both ways. Some men are like this too. So men, please don't don't think I'm always attacking men because it, it does go both ways. I'm talking to a woman and her situation. So I'm going to reference it in this way. The fact that we think we can fix them allows them to do more shady stuff and behave and not show up on their top level. If somebody can't show up full fully ready and prepared to move forward with you in a full on relationship. If that's what you're looking for, then they are not the person for you. So either you're fooling yourself saying that you want a full on relationship and this is helping you be in denial about that, or you're hoping you can fix this guy and whatever his thing is. And the truth of the matter is, if you want a full on relationship with somebody who can show up in every way and be accountable with their actions, this is not the man for you. This, this is not the person for you. It is not the per person for you. Because this person has already shown you, they cannot show up and act in the way they need to for you for you to have a healthy, productive, loving relationship with them. Now, it doesn't matter what anybody else in the effing world wants. What matters in your world, and I don't, I don't care, every woman wants different things in a relationship. What matters in your world is what you personally want in a relationship. And yes, there is somebody out there that is going to full on give that to you. They're going to show up as that person. You're not going to need to fix them as that person or into that person. They are going to have the actions backing up their words. They are going to behave in the way that you would have your expectations. But as, as, as people in relationships, we have dropped our expectations so low that we think, well, if, if I just stick with this, eventually we will get there. And the longer we stick stick with it and the more hope we have, the more difficult it is to kind of walk away because we feel like we've invested. But if we're investing in junk or penny stock, not that the person is junk or a penny, I don't know, haven't met him, just saying. Um, 
we're hoping for that payoff, but some stocks just completely delete or um, dilute, or they never go up in value. And if you have yourself a penny stock that isn't going up in value because they're they're not changing who they are on their own. And I'm going to tell you this too, for the first three to six months, their ambassador shows up and that's when they're on their best behavior. After that, their true self shows up. So if it's been six months, you may not even, this is the best he is because guys show up as the best and women to show up as the best that they are. They show up as the best that they are and they go from there. I'm going to tell you, it is in your best interest. For, forget, don't try to figure out another person's behavior, good, bad, or indifferent because inside their mind, we can never figure out what's going on inside their mind, okay? So we can never know what happened or why. And that might just be none of our business because it just takes us further into the spider web that we can't get out of. And what I'm telling you right here, right now, this person isn't showing up as who you need or who you want. And those are the only two things that matter in your dating life. If you are not getting what you need, and what you want, you cut the cord and you move on because there is somebody out there looking for somebody just like you, ready, willing, and able to give you more than you need, more than you want, more than you could have ever expected. But as long as you're trying to fix what you have, you will never get what you want. Never, ever will you get what you want if you're trying to make what you have what you want because what you have god created that the way it is and that is not what you that is not your thing then you have to let that go to somebody else who thinks that's perfect and you move on and you say okay thank you for the test i passed because i said pass on this if you had all the money in the world and you really wanted a, a i'm just going to a, 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 a bentley and you wanted a Bentley, you wouldn't go to the gar car dealership and get a Mustang. Right? No, you wouldn't because you're like, no, no I, I want a Bentley. I have, I'm not paying Bentley money for a mother friggin Mustang. And there's nothing wrong with Mustang for don't come at me and Mustangs are cute and all. Okay, so it's not, that's not where I'm going here. But if you have Bentley money and your heart is Bentley money or whatever money you, Rolls Royce, whatever money you want to, your heart, your persona, you are a freaking Bentley money. Like, however I can say that better, I don't know. But if you have Bentley money and you go to the dealership and you say, boom, here's my Bentley money. Give me my Bentley. I want all the extra everything because I have Bentley money. Yeah. And they roll up in I a Mustang. You're going to go, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, mother friggin'. No, you take that Mustang. That, 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 you, t I don't care if it's vintage. That is not what I asked for. Now, mm -hmm. in the world yeah. of dating, our energy and our love is our currency. Stop, stop, stop having Bentley love right. and settling for Pintos. And thank you to everybody who participates live, whether it's the call in or on YouTube. Um, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and love each and every one of you so very, very much. Until Wednesday, have an amazing rest of the day. Thanks. Bye-bye.